Hey guys, welcome to my channel Data Driven Decisions. So in the channel, I focus on more in data science and different technologies related to that. So if you haven't uh, seen any videos over here yet, you can just check over there. There are a lot of really good videos uh, which can help you to excel your career in data science. So today's topic is more about the comparison between uh, Julia programming language and Python programming language. And earlier I have uh, published two videos you can see like the first comparison between the uh, numbers in Julia Python and then the variables if you haven't checked it out you can just go over here and check it check it out and today what we am going to focus is on to compare the string in a programming language between Python and Julia so for that I'll just uh, go to two different notebooks and this notebook is about the python it is running on python and this particular notebook is running on uh, julia programming language so you can find the links of those notebooks in the description of the video you can just check it over there and and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel it will help me to motivate create more videos and it will help you to uh, excel your career in data science and learn a lot of new things which help you and help me and everyone will get help out of it basically so as you can see like string is basically uh, like as you know uh, string is a sequence of characters basically so in python so i have already written over here so i have just written a uh, like string called hello so in python if you want to write a string you have to use the double quotation mark over here like i have seen over there so if i run this particular cell you can see the output basically so so this is the output basically hello in python you can use double quotation marks and at the same time you can also use the single quotation marks those both of them are the same same thing so so in the single quotation hello if i run this one you can see this is hello so if i just run the same thing in julia so i just copy this and go to the julia notebook and if i just paste it over here and run it you can see the same thing like julia in single quotation if i just do that and if I just paste it and run, okay, it's not running. So why it is happening? So basically, in Julia, uh, you can use the single quotation mark, but it will only take single character in a single quotation mark. So whenever you use a single quotation, you have to put it in a normal character, single character. But whenever you use the double quotation, it will take it as a string. I'll just sh quickly show you the demonstration. So, so if I, it's a hello, so if I just remove everything, so only single character is H and it is single uh, quotations under. So if I run this one, you can see it's run automatically. So I can assign it to any variable, like V is a variable, V equals to this so if i run this one and if i call the v again and run this one you can see uh, it is already been assigned so what is the type of v so if i just run type of type of v and if i run this one you can see it's a character single character but if you want to just make it uh, like a string, what you have to do is that you have to just, instead of single quotation, you have to use the double quotation. So if I just go over here and if I use the double quotation mark and if I run this one again, so I reassign H with V. And if I, if I run this cell again, you can see this is a string so now it's become string but for python you don't have to mention double quotation or single quotation so in python if i go over here 
and uh, suppose I have already written over here so there is a type type of a a under the single quotation you can see that and if I run this one it's already string so I don't have to mention double quotation to make it a string so in Python uh, like single quotation and double quotation both are the same thing but for Julia uh, both are not the same thing so for Julia for single quotation means uh, it's a character and double quotation means it's a string so that is the one difference between the Julia and Python so you have to mention in a double quotation mark so again I have written over here another string which is I am showing you but over here you can see the first start with the double quotation and then the last start with single quotation okay so if I run this one you can see end of line EOL while scanning string literals like there is a syntax error basically end of line error so why it is happened because first I start with a double quotation and then end with a single quotation so that's where it's coming so if I just remove the single quotation and if I just give the double quotation mark and if I run the cell again you can see that this is the basically the output so I think I'll just try the same thing with Julia so let's see how it will come up so if I copy and paste it over here and if I run this one so it gives a similar kind of output so let's see uh, use the single quotation and if I run this one same thing like it's not let you uh, like like it's not running basically so it's not the right syntax so similar to Python so there is a similarity between Python and Julia so now another interesting thing so this is basically a Jupyter notebook running in Google Colab so for that if I just run this cell I get the output but in normal Python if you have to print something if you have to if you need to get uh, output of something you need to use a print function so for that I just use the print uh, function and under that I just write hello basically so if I run this one You can see the output but over here there is no any quotation is uh, mentioned over there so for that what I have to do in Julia so for Julia I'll just try it so I just copy this cell and if I go to Julia <coughs> and paste it over there <coughs> excuse me, and run this one so the same thing so print function is same for both python and julia right so now come to a new interesting topic so you can see that over here i have written two strings like one is the hello world one and another one is the hello world two the two different strings but i have written it in a single like cell basically so if i just run this cell you can see only the last one like the hello world 2 that is being represented like that is the output we get in a if I only run in a cell so and that is the thing so if I use the print function like under the print function if I run these two cells like hello world 1 and hello, hello world 2 and if I run this one you can see that both the outputs are coming so that is the like a difference between running in a Jupyter notebook or Colab notebook or in a normal Python environment so in the Python environment you have to write in a print function way and in that case you will get the two outputs in, in this way but in Jupyter notebook we have to uh, if you just mention in this way like hello world 1 hello world 2 you will get only one the last output I think the similar sort of things will happen in uh, Julia also let's try it out okay so Julia is not even giving you the outputs 
but in python you get the output but in julia we haven't get the output so it's an interesting thing i guess so if i run the print way like like let's see how it will happen so if i copy and paste it in the next cell and if i run this one okay i get the output but there is a difference so in the julia we get the output like in a single line like hello world one and then hello world two in a single line we get the output but in python we get uh, in a two different lines the way we have mentioned it in the cell so that is another difference between these two okay so there are there are the other thing which is the new line so in this cell i've seen i've written like hello world okay but over there i have written like backslash n so when in python whenever you need a new line use the backslash and n so if i run this one so you get this output but there is no new line so why why is happening is that what's that what's the reason behind it that will only applicable if you run it in the print statement so i have written it over here you can see like hello like backslash in word and it is on the print statement so if i run this cell you can see hello world so the new line is applicable in under the print statement and let's see in julia what is the condition so let's see so over there if I just run this one and so this is the same thing like Python and if I just run using the print statement okay so okay print hello backslash in world and if I just run this one okay same thing like this is a similar thing with respect to Python so there is no need change between these two languages and the similar thing you can see with the tab basically so if you instead of the backslash n if you just use the backslash t you will get the tab uh, like tabular data like tab versions so if i just run this one like hello backslash t world and if i just run this one the same thing there is no new applications applicable over here but in the print statement it will give you the output so if i just run this one you can see like hello then tap then the world so this is the thing so if i just use the same thing in julia so what will happen so you can see if i just copy and paste it over here and run this one okay the same thing and if i just copy and paste uh, the tabular data tabular version of it and if I run this one, okay, the same thing. But for Julia, the new line and the tab data is all the same. Okay, and now I just show you the last thing: how to uh, get the total length of a string. So in Python, there is a wonderful like uh, method, wonderful function, which is called the len, len okay so alien and under the alien we give the string or any kind of like you can give arrays you can give dictionaries or anything it will give you the whole length of the of the sequence basically so if i just run this cell alien it gives you the 11 so that is the one thing and if i if i just uh, if i just copy this one and if i just paste it over here and if i just run this in julia okay it's not coming so why is that because there is no uh, like function or a method in julia called alien to get the similar kind of uh, like output what you have to do is that there is a special function or method called alien like length basically alien g t h length so if I run this one, you'll get the same output. So these are the different different 
like differences between the python and julia so what are the different differences so you can see like uh, so for julia the single character just to recap the single characters represented as uh, character only the like single quotation basically so whenever you use, use single quotation that has to be represented as characters to convert it to the string you have to use the double quotation mark as another thing and uh, then the difference is you can see like in julia you cannot use two different uh, like statements or two different strings in a single uh, like cell and that will not give any kind of output but in python you'll get the that's another difference uh, these two are the same thing yeah one thing is that like if you use the print function and under that you use the strings then you'll get the output but in a like one like in a just side by side not in like uh, by vertically basically one by one so that is another difference and another difference we get is that the length function basically in julia to get a length of a array or sequence or a string we have to use the len gth this is the function for julia and for python the function is basically len so these are the differences for the basic strings between python and julia so i hope you like the video if you like my channel if i if you like my contents please subscribe to my channel uh, i'll give all the information in the description of the video and if you haven't checked out the other videos of comparison between julia and python please check out the playlist which i'll keep over there the description i hope uh, you'll be safe your family is safe and i'll see you soon with the next video with the more comparisons between the python and julia language thank you